were down five at halftime. You have Boogie Cousins and, and Carmelo Anthony. By the way, I think Boogie Cousins is the star of this whole Olympics. He looks so great. And finally, he's out of Sacramento, and he's on an international stage. But I got to think, like, hey, you know what? You got to say something to, like, the, the guys. And you have to make a statement. And I got to say something like, Australia, okay, cool. You came close. Welcome to the United States of America. We were down five at halftime. I don't know if it was Margaret Thatcher, Churchill. Somebody over there said, United States, we always do the right thing after we've exhausted every other option. So that's what we did. We exhausted every conceivable way we could blow it. And then we, uh, we got our act together. Australia, relax. You're 17th most famous Australian per 50 most greatest Australians is a horse named Farlap. A horse is your 17th most famous inhabitant of all time. A whore. Mr. Red in America would be like, what, in the 10 millions? And he can talk and at his own TV show. There's not a Gib on this list. There's an Explorer or two. There's a couple ACDC guys. It's a carnival game playing the United States men. That's We all know that. Whether you're putting a ping pong ball in a little saucer or you're putting a ring or you're throwing, you're throwing a softball at the jugs to knock them over. Um, playing the United States men's basketball game? Close, son. Close. Oh, so it's rigged. It's tilted the other way. And you are never going to beat, hey, Carmelo, Kyrie, Boogie, yes. That is the most American sentence that could ever be said. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.